Yes. What's your favorite part of the camper? Mud. Mud. No. no. Mud. Throw up dry balls and mud, and the boys can't even walk through this stuff in the morning. You may have heard stories about the last campery, that there was a little problem with mud. Well, more than just a little problem. No, sometimes things don't go as we plan. But we have a God that has a greater plan. Even with the trials we endured in 2008, we can truly say that God has blessed the efforts of the men who have planned the international camperies. In fact, let's take a quick look at some of the great images and adventures from the past. What an incredible journey the Lord has brought us on. Do you want to be a part of this great tradition? Then get ready for Campery 2011, right in the heart of Michigan, Camp Whitetail. Okay, let's stop it right here. It all sounds great, but what I really want to know is who am I staying with while I'm at camp, and what is a normal day like? Do we stay in cabins? Does the cabin have a hot tub? Does my counselor make dinner for me every day? Can I bring my iPod? Will there be wireless internet? Do I get to sleep in? Do I? Hold it a minute. You do realize that this is a camp and not a resort, right? Let me start by answering your question about sleeping in. Believe me, you're not gonna want to miss a single moment of camp. Oh yeah, like what will I miss? A worm omelet for breakfast? dirt and jelly sandwich for lunch, old tennis shoe steak for dinner, and the mosquitoes eating me for a midnight snack. Uh, maybe you're just a little preoccupied with food? Well, you really don't have to worry about your meals because you are the cook. You can have dirt and jelly if that's what you really want, but if you earn your camp cooking badge, the food can be as good as mom's. Well, maybe not quite as good as mom's, but pretty close. But let's get back to your first question. What's a typical day like? After your gentle wake-up call, you can get cleaned up and fall in line for morning assembly, called morning watch. It's a great way to start the day, greeting the day with praise to God and asking for His blessing on the day's activities. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord! Once you are back at the campsite, it's a hearty breakfast. Doesn't look too bad, does it? And yes, there's cleanup. But even that can be fun. Fun? You've got to be kidding. Since when is scrubbing pans fun? Well, it's not about the pan. It's about the friends. Let me back up a bit. When you first arrive at Camp Reed, your first assignment is to find your cadre campsite and meet your campmates for the week. No, you won't be in a cadre with all your friends from home. They make up the cadres with boys from all different places. 
Yes, you may be a little nervous about how you're going to get along with all these strangers for a whole week. But, after a little teamwork on shelter design and construction, and sharing a snack and conversation during a break, you'll find the members of your cadre are no longer strangers. They're good friends. Okay, you finished cleaning up after breakfast, and you've shared a devotional time with your cadre. Then it's off to your morning activity. This cadre has been assigned archery. Wait a minute. Archery? I don't know anything about archery. Well, I, I guess I played it on my friend's Wii video game once. Does that count? How am I going to do archery if I've never done it before? Relax. You won't be the only one who's never bent a bow. And that's what the instructors and counselors are there for. To help you learn. And once you've mastered archery, it's back to the campsite for lunch. And then on to the second activity of the day. This group is on the orienteering course. In 2011, orienteering will be replaced by geocaching. The best way to describe it is that it's like a wilderness treasure hunt. Using a handheld GPS, you will attempt to find a hidden container or cache. So if you think camperies are old school, think again. If you're into high tech, have we got an activity for you. Okay, so I'm starting to get the picture. The counselors who run this camp really know how to keep you busy and having fun. And if you're having a tough time with anything, there's always someone to help. That's pretty cool. So after this group completes the geocaching activity, what's next? Dinner? And then you just hang around camp until the lights go out, right? Uh, not really. Dinner, yes, and devotions. But then things really get rolling with an evening gathering at the assembly area singing a few songs with a praise band. And each evening has its own surprise. A comedian, an entertainer, a challenge speaker. Campery programs are first class. Sounds great. So now I brush my teeth and unroll my sleeping bag. Well, not quite yet. The evening concludes with a gathering around the campfire. It might just be with your cadre or a larger group. But it's a great time for sharing, prayer, and praise. There's not a better way to end the day. Sounds like getting to sleep won't be a problem. I hope that's it for the day. Yep, at least for one day. The boys head back to their shelters and rest up for tomorrow's activities. What's tomorrow like? Well, lots more fun and challenges. Here's the whole lineup of great activities that will be part of Camp Whitetail. There'll be leather craft, archery, riflery, canoeing, fireman's rodeo, a service project, camp craft, geocaching, a day-long excursion to a water park and go-kart racing, and of course, special evening programs, and a surprise Saturday event. And we can't forget Sunday. The worship service on Sunday morning is awesome. Family and friends are invited to be there, and everyone lifts their voices to the Lord in a great outdoor cathedral. And after the worship, the visitors are invited for dinner and a tour of camp. A wonderful day for everyone. Okay, I'm impressed. But you're an adult, and adults sometimes make things sound better than they really are. Hey, I hear you, and I completely understand. It's healthy to be a little skeptical of one person's opinion. So here are a few other opinions that you might appreciate. What did you think about the campery? It was fun! It was great? Yeah! I loved it! You loved it? Yeah! What did you like the best? Everything. Everything. Good. What'd you think of the campery? Awesome. How'd you like the campery? Oh, it was awesome. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Did you enjoy the campery? It was awesome. It was cool. What'd you think of the campery? The campery was awesome. Had a great cadre. Had a great co-counselor. Everything was meshed together. We did great. Okay, I'm in. So when and where is this event, and what do I have to do to get ready? The campery will be held July 27 to August 3, 2011. That's a Wednesday to Wednesday. And what should you be prepared for? Well, make sure you are campery certified. You can find the requirements online. We'll see you at Camp Whitetail.